Let's now pick up where we left off in the previous video and that is exploring the different per pixel painting modes we can choose from here in the Retopo menu when we want to merge to the paint room. We covered these first two options already and as the name implies this first option will bake explicitly and exclusively to a normal map and that's very important to emphasize because if you know ahead of time that you want to export to a displacement map as well as a normal map then this third option is the one to choose. Granted, we looked at in the previous video a means to sculpt once we're in the paint room and export that work to a displacement map if we so choose upon final export. But everything at this stage during the merge process will not be added uh, to that displacement map. So it's very important to make that distinction. So let's go ahead and click on that. We have our same options here, and I just want to quickly point out that it's not always necessary to apply zones. You could just make an initial pass to see if you have any trouble spots. You could always come back or make note of trouble areas and then apply zones in those areas. Now I think that's the way it's intended. So I OK. And this is one caveat I need to mention about this particular mode, at least as of this recording. If you choose no subdivision, you might find that this low polygon mesh has some type of a roughness to it when you merge. So you probably want to choose at least one level of subdivision when you use this mode. Andrew's been made aware of this and mentioned that he's not yet come up with a solution for it. But just take note of that. Okay, so let's choose the first level of subdivision. And... Let's go with 2K maps all around and hit OK. I'll pause while it calculates. OK, so it looks like we're all done now. We can go to the paint room. And I'm going to hide the voxel object. That's a little bit bright, so let me go over to the blending panel for the body layer. And I'll Bring the brightness down just a bit. And you may be asking yourself, okay, I thought we exported with displacement rather than a normal map. And indeed, you are correct. But the way Andrew explained it to me was that it uses normal displacement, not necessarily normal bump. So when you're painting on this map, again, you are painting displacement. So let's go ahead and see if we try to do a little bit of sculpting here, um, let's maybe use a, a reptile type pattern. We could use something like that. Oops, looks like I made a brush stroke here. And you may see some little issues like this in the viewport, but they are just viewport glitches here. Uh, they will not be reflected in the map. Go to the viewport here. Uncheck that, check it again, and boom, mostly gone. All right, so let's use a stamp. I like the movable stamp brush here because as I press, I can use my bracket hotkeys to increase or decrease, and then my 9 and 0 key just above it to rotate it about. Now for the sake of brevity, I'm going to fast forward for just a short spell here. choose a different brush alpha and add that to a separate layer. Here we have it and all we need to do is export to see our result here. I'm just going to export just the normal and the displacement maps. Okay, so let's bring it up. And we can see the displacement map here for the head. So that's a look at merging to the paint room with displacement. And we'll pick up in the next one covering micro vertex. So stay tuned.